surveyor lay out your house so we can start digging. On well, this one right here, we're just having this done. What they'll do is come out and find a point that they can pull all their points from. Now this on the ground, if you just saw just this cover, you might think that this is a shutoff or even a water supply or something. It's not. There's a pin in here. That is a point that they will pull from in order to stake everything else in the neighborhood in relation to it. There are maps on files that show exactly where this is and the elevation it's at. So they've marked this at 100. That's our benchmark. So that's a bench point. Our benchmark is 100. I'm going to show you over on the other side what that 100 means to us. Think of that as your zero plane. Um, so everything is going to come from here at an angle and either raise an elevation or lower an elevation. So we'll go 100, 101, 102, or we'll start backing off 99, 98, 97, and so on. When we come over by the house, this is a ways down from where that benchmark was. You can see at the end of the cul-de-sac, that's where the benchmark was. And we're coming down here. This is where the driveway is going to head in. They've got this marked out at 98 and 7 tenths. So that's 7 tenths of a foot. Um, 98 and 7 tenths, down two two decimal places. That seven zero could be seven one one hundredths. It's seventy one hundredths. So in our case seven tenths, but that's in hundredths of a foot. Now from that we can figure out our elevation for the house. I told them I want the house to sit two and a half feet above the road. It's sixty feet back. If I put it two and a half feet up that gives me a nice grade to get out to the road so my driveway slopes away. Here's one of our first corners. So you can see at the road, remember we started at 100 over there at the benchmark. We're now at 98 and 70 one hundredths, or 7 tenths, at the road. We come out to the stake, we're at 97, 99. So top of this pin right here is in relation to that number there. So as we're falling down a little bit, 97 and 7 tenths, 97, 99, this actually sits a hair higher. Or excuse me, that was 98 out there, we're 97, so we're a hair lower. So we're gonna, they're going to keep going using that method to give us an elevation throughout all of this. What they'll also do is put these little stakes at every place on the house where you turn a corner in the foundation. So everywhere we hit a stake, that's the house jogging. So there's two things going on out here. We've got all these little pink stakes in the ground, the wood ones, that defines actual corners of our house. That lets us do a couple of things. That lets us plan for digging, although we're going to change some of these points in order to start digging. But it also lets us look at exactly how the house sits and decide do we like it exactly how it was on paper. Now we can come stand out here and I look here I say, well, here's where my garage is. This little area here is the front entry door. My garage bounces out here. And right here is the front of my garage. Do I like where it is? Do I like how close I am to the lot line? Do I like where my driveway is going to hit? If you don't like it, spend an extra few hundred dollars, have them do it again. It's not a big deal to move it. Once the house is built, it's an impossibility. So if you don't like it here, go ahead and move it. The second thing that we're going to deal with with these stakes, if I can find one of them here, is our offsets. Now those were those steel rebar, guys will use different things, but it's going to be a steel pin of some sort. Sometimes just a piece of rebar, sometimes a spike, sometimes they'll have a little head on it, but these are our offsets. In this case he's doing a 10 foot offset. So that means from the corners it's lined up with, this one right here, this is an actual corner. This defines the exact point that the edge of the foundation will exist. 10 feet away, we've got a pin. That's a 10 foot offset. When we come to start digging, he's got to dig to exactly where that stake is. If he digs through all those, we're not going to know where the walls should be now. We're going to know roughly in the hole where they are, but the foundation crew won't have anything to line up with. So we've got these offsets and steel pins that sit 10 feet outside. So what we do is we do our best to leave these alone, and our foundation crew can now pull a string from this offset to that one on the front of the house. He's got one string there. He'll pull a second from this offset right here across to this one over here. Those will cross at exactly 90 degrees and give us a true corner. Then when he starts building his walls and his footer, he can square everything basically to this point, which is the intersection of these two sets of lines. Your stakes are in 
and you like the location of them and you have an understanding of what's going on with the house, it's time to start digging. So let's call our dirt excavator over and get him going. <laughs> 